Today we are going to be preparing silver dichromate. On the left here I have a solution of 0.5 grams of silver nitrate and on the right I have a solution of 0.45 grams of potassium dichromate. And I'm just going to drip the dichromate into the silver nitrate and we should see a red precipitant. Very vivid colors. Now I'm going to filter it off. It's very wine red. Nice burgundy color. Okay, now I'm going to scale it up a bit. I'm using 2.2 grams of potassium dichromate and 2.5 grams of silver nitrate. I'm just going to get these dissolved. Okay, now I'm going to add the dichromate solution dropwise with a pipette. Okay, I'm going to pour the rest of the chromate solution in. Dichromate, rather. I expect that some of the product makes it through the filter like it did last time. Here's some of the silver dichromate I made earlier in the video. It takes on a very dark red, almost brownish color after drying. So this is what the silver dichromate looks like after being dried and left in this vial for a day. You can see it still retains its dark red color. One thing to note is that if you add silver dichromate to boiling water, it will decompose into silver chromate and chromic acid. 